Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV and the first, officially first, uh, Cup of Joe. Uh, kind of a cheesy name, but I get to sit here and drink coffee and talk to you about coffee and things and such. My name's Joseph and I publish Coffee Lovers Magazine and Coffee Lovers Radio, which is in partnership with Jesse at Conduit Coffee. Uh, you can listen to that podcast at coffeeloversradio.com. And the magazine is at coffeeloversmagazine.com. So, Cup of Joe. That's something I've been wanting to do for uh, quite some time. I um, started Coffee Lovers Magazine three and a half years ago, a little over three and a half years ago. And through the magazine, I've been able to um, just explore the whole world of coffee. I've been able to meet with people all over the world. I've been traveling. I've uh, been able to visit farms and, uh, of course, cafes and roasters and producers. And, and along the way, um, I've connected with uh, countless people over coffee. Um, and from the beginning of the magazine, I didn't really put myself uh, out there. And if, if you're a subscriber from the beginning, you might remember that I used to do uh, my from the publisher letter at the beginning used to be a video of me, which I may start doing again, actually. Uh, I eventually made those into just letters. But I kind of wanted the magazine to stand alone at the beginning while I figured out what it was and who we were talking to and everything. And the magazine is a great place for me to share other people's stories and uh, how-tos about coffee and videos and photos. and It's just, it's an endless world. It's a wonderful endless world and the magazine is a fantastic format to do some really cool things and make like a community. One of the one of the most powerful things that I've been able to do with this work though has always been just talking with people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and that's often in person, sometimes it's by email or social media, but even if it's even if it's something simple like um, like how to brew a Chemex better or something like that. It's, it's much, I mean, it's rewarding and wonderful to just talk in person about that. But there are so many complex parts about coffee. That, like, one of the biggest challenges I have, one of the biggest questions that's always given to me is what coffee should I choose and or what's the best coffee or anything along that scale and there's no direct answer to that because we all have our own personal uh, desires and tastes and, and uh, that's not, like I can't sit here and say, pick that one, that's the best one, I can't sit here and say that. But I can sit here and talk to you and get an understanding of uh, what you like and help you figure things out, that's what I can do. But so through that process I started to realize that I need to be out there more. I need to be I need to be in a place where you can see who I am and what I think and why I think these things. Um, and so I wanted to start this little show. And I've actually been doing uh, little segments in the magazine. I've been doing the Cup of Joe segments for the past few months in the magazine where I do it's just me and I've been doing them with the phone actually this isn't with the phone but I, I just do the, the videos with the phone and I usually answer someone's question or um, give some thought that I've had or something like that where it's not um, it's not just a stale step-by-step -step guide. There's so much more to coffee um, and I feel like I need to be there. One of the other things that um, I'm hoping to do with this and it's it's not so much coffee related as people related but I've always been a bit reticent to just 
put myself out there. Um, as I've as I've been working on the magazine, and that's entirely what I do now. Um, there's a lot of publishing, a lot of creating of content, and it can be challenging, of course, to to create something uh, uh, wonderful and think this is going to be amazing. I'm going to put this out there, and it's going to be great. And I have a lot of ideas like this, and this is one of them. But there's always fear. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know how someone's going to take you. You don't know if it's going to do anything. Um, what happens if you make all this and nothing happens? That's actually my greater fear than if you hate me. Let me say this. If you hate me, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'll take uh, joy in the fact that something that I've done has stirred you in a way. Uh, I'd rather you didn't hate me, but, you know. I think the worst thing is if you try something and nothing happens. It's interesting uh, if we can jump back into coffee. I think that I am I am least enthused about coffee when I drink it and it makes me go. Eh. There's certainly coffees which are bad, and I've had bad coffees. And the thing about bad coffee is that when you have bad coffee and you know it's bad coffee, you can say, that's bad coffee, and you can throw it away. And when you have amazing coffee, you can say, oh my goodness, that's amazing, and you can go find it again. But when you have coffee that makes you go, eh, it's just a disappointment. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'll probably end up on these rambling quite a bit here and there. Um... And I'll try to, uh, my, my goal with the, the whole Coffee Lovers TV is to make a series of shows. Um, and it's going to be entirely me at the beginning. But one of them is going to be like this, where I'm sitting here, I'm drinking a cup of coffee, I'm calling it the Cup of Joe. Haha. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to share with you what's on my mind. I'm going to try and give you a little behind the scenes with the magazine as well, because I think that'd be really cool just to, if you're interested, keep you up to date on what's going on with the magazine and the business and the projects we're working on and that sort of thing. Um, and then just to talk about uh, different ideas that I have. Um, there are a lot of stories I'd like to share as well, and that may I may have that as a separate series where I'll just be talking with the camera. Um, and then there's lots of how-tos and tricks. That's going to be its entire thing. Uh, tricks, tips is the word I was looking for. How-tos and tips. Um, uh, one of the videos I'll be making really shortly is, um, the, uh, well, I didn't coin this term, but the polished French press, um, which is a different way of approaching the French press that takes out a lot of the, um, bitter oiliness without really affecting the body too much. Um, anyways, I'll be making that video shortly. Um... And then there's one more, uh, oh yeah, so I'll also be, I'm interested in doing like tours, so I can take you on tours of like roasters, uh, show you cool cafes, um, that'll obviously start off around here. Um, coming this winter, I'll be working with CoffeeCon, uh, we're bringing CoffeeCon to Seattle, that's a consumer coffee convention, um, that has the, the dates and location haven't been officially announced yet, um, but I'll keep you up to date on that when things happen. Um, and then, uh, one more thing I would really like to do, I, I've always kept negative things out of the magazine. I always felt like the magazine is a place where, um, it's kind of like your cup of coffee. You just want to sit down and enjoy it and get something really good out of it. Um, and so I always wanted to keep the negative out of the magazine. But there are certain things that um, I do not agree with in the coffee industry. And so I kind of want to, I think I'll do a little rant segment where I, because I feel like, I feel like you should understand what I think is not good, what I think is, is bad, in fact. Um, off the top of my head, two of those things that I think are really bad, um, things like civet coffee where animals are abused for the for the production of coffee that to me is unacceptable and um pod machines 
which to me is just consumerist and wasteful. Okay, I'm going to put all that in somewhere else, uh, but there are things that I feel like um, I should stand against, and I feel like you should be aware of why I disagree with those, those uh, parts of the industry. So, um, yeah. This is going to be a cup of joe. Uh, it's going to be Coffee Lovers TV and um, it's going to be delicious. Uh, if you're curious, this is a cold brew of a Costa Rica. Um, it's a secret roast. But uh, I actually may get into uh, coffee reviews as well. I do have a coffee from Campos that I'd like to share with you. Um, so that might be coming up soon. I don't know exactly what my reviews are gonna look like because I've never really reviewed coffee before. I mean, I have I have reviewed coffee before. I just, there's something about coffee reviews that don't sit right. And I wanna to try to figure out how to talk about a coffee with you in a very relatable way. Um, so that's a challenge I need to, to figure out. Um, so until the next one, I'm Joseph, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little introduction, and we'll see what we see.